Hello everyone, this is Teacher Juvie and I will be your guide for today's lesson. The topic that we will discuss today is finding the common factors and GCF using listing method, prime factorization, and continuous division. But first, let's define common factors. The common factors are factors that are all common in the two or more numbers. Later on, we will discuss how to find the common factors of two or more numbers. When we have common factors, we may also get the greatest common factor. And this is the largest factor among the common factors listed when we perform the different methods in finding the GCF and common factors of two or more numbers. To further understand the lesson or the topic, let us read and analyze the situation. Leo wants to cover a 30 cm by 40 cm cardboard of identical square paper. Can you help him to find the largest possible square to cover his cardboard? Okay, so if we are going to analyze the situation, uh, Leo wants to cover a 30 cm by 40 cm cardboard of identical square. So, dapat yung square na mabubuo niya is pare-pareho ang sukat. So, kaya daw ba natin siyang tulungan na mahanap ang largest possible square na pwedeng mag-cover doon sa kanyang cardboard? Okay, so let's find the answer. If we are going to illustrate the cardboard of Leo, this is how it looks like. It has three columns and four rows. So the first method that we're going to use is the listing method. In listing method, we're going to list down all the factors of 30 and 40. So let's perform first or get first the factors of 30. So, we can get the factors of 30 by applying the different divisibility rules that we have learned from the previous lesson. So, what are the two numbers that when we multiply will give us an answer of 30? And that is 1 times 30. Another factors are 2 times 15, 3 times 10, and 5 times 6. Then, we can now list down all the factors of 30. So, pag maglilista tayo ng mga factors, i-arrange natin siya from least to greatest. So, maunang 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 10, 15, and 30. So, para ma-check natin kung ito ba ang ating mga factors, pwede nating i-multiply yung 1 and 30. Dulo sa dulo, pag dugtungin natin yung line. Okay. Then, 2 times 15, 3 times 10, and in the yung middle factors I 5 times 6. Okay, so we're done with 30, so let's now list the factors of 40. So the factors of 40 are 1 times 40, 2 times 20, 4 times 10, and 5 times 8. Then list all the factors from least to greatest. We have 1, 2, 4, 5, 8, 10, 20, and 40. Then check natin. 1 times 40 for is 40. Then 2 times 20 is 40. 4 times 10 is 40, and 5 times 8 is 40. Let's now compare the factors of the two given numbers. So the factors of 30 are 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 10, 15, and 30, and the factors of 40 are 1, 2, 4, 5, 8, 10, 20, and 40. Then bilugan natin yung mga common factors sa kanilang dalawa. Common si ang 1, Pareho silang may 2, may 5, and may 10. 
then doon sa mga factors na common sa kanila, makukuha natin ang greatest common factor dahil ang pinakamalaki sa apat na factors na yan is 10. Therefore, the GCF of 30 and 40 is 10. So, ang answer natin ngayon sa ating situation is the largest possible square to cover his cardboard is 10 cm. Let us also solve the situation by applying the method number 2 or the prime factorization method, particularly the factor 3 method. So, sa factor 3 method, ililist naman natin or kukuli naman natin yung mga prime factors. Okay, so... Think of a number that when we multiply will give us an answer of 30. So, marami tayong factors on 30. So, i-list down muna natin. 2 times 15. Then, i-differentiate mo or i-identify mo kung siya ba ay prime or composite. Kapag prime, at is siya. And pag composite naman, we're going to get the factors. So, dito sa dalawang number or sa dalawang factors, ang 2 is prime and 15 is composite. So, ibig sabihin, Yung 15 ay ifa factor pa natin dahil composite siya. So, think of a number or that think that think two factors of 15. So, we have 3 times 5. Okay, again, i-differentiate mo ngayon kung siya ba ay prime or composite. Since ang 3 and 5 is already prime or are already prime, pwede na natin silang bilugan. Bilugan natin yung mga prime numbers, then isulat natin dito by writing the given uh, uh, writing the given number as product of prime factors so we have 2 times 3 times 5 okay we're done with 30 so let's now proceed on getting the prime factors of 40 using method number 2 or the prime factorization method so the first step is get the factors of 40 so maraming possible factors so 2 times 20. Then, second, differentiate natin yung dalawang factors kung siya ba ay composite or prime. Okay, so yung 2 is already prime. So, hindi natin siya i-factor. Pero itong 20 is a composite number. So, kailangan natin siyang i-factor. So, the factors of 20 are 4 times 5. Okay, differentiate again kung ang 4 ba ay prime or composite. So, 4 is composite while 5 is prime number. So, yung 4 ang kailangan nating i-factor. So, the factors of 4 is 2 times 2. Okay, so, bilugan na natin lahat ng prime factors. And, we can now write the given number as product of prime factors. So, ang ating sagot ay 2 times 2 times 2 times 5. So, proceed na tayo sa comparison ng factors ng 30 and factors ng 40. So, ito yung mga prime numbers ng 30. 2 times 3 times 5, while 40 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 5. So, bilugan natin yung common sa kanilang dalawa. Pareho silang may 2 at pareho silang may 5. Then, to get the GCF, we're going to multiply the two common factors or two common prime factors doon sa dalawang given number. So, 2 times 5 is 10. So, 10 is the GCF of 30 and 40. Of the situation that we had earlier using method number 3 or the continuous division. So, pag magpe-perform tayo ng continuous division, ang step natin is we write first the given numbers. Then, isip ka ngayon ng prime factors na pwedeng mag-divide sa 30 and 40 eksakto. So, since sila ay even number, pwede silang i-divide sa 2. Then, 30 divided by 2 is 15. Ilagay niyo yung quotient sa ilalim ng 30. And, 40 divided by 2 is 20. Okay, then continue the process. 15 and 20. So, anong number ang pwedeng mag-divide sa 15 and 20 ng eksakto? Okay, 5. Dahil sila ay multiples of 5. So, 15 divided by 5 is 3. And 20 divided by 5 is 4. 3 and 4. May number pa ba tayo na pwedeng mag-divide sa 3 and 4 ng walang, sa, ng walang sobra? 
okay, so wala na. Bukod sa sarili nila. Since wala nang pwedeng mag-divide sa 3 and 4, kunin natin ngayon itong naka-vertical or vertical na mga numbers. And yun yung pag-multiply natin. So, 2 times 5. And that is now the GCF of 30 and 40. When we multiplied 2 times 5, and that is equal to 10. Therefore, the GCF of 30 and 40 using continuous division is 10. Okay, so kung napansin nyo, from method 1 to method 3, we arrive with the same answer. So, nasa inyo na yon kung ano yung mas prefer nyo gamiting method, kung saan kayo mas nadadalian. So, para mas malaman ko kung anong method kayo nadalian, i-comment nyo ang method na pinaka madali para sa inyo. Let's try this activity. Find the common factors and GCF of each given numbers using any method. So, the given numbers are 35 and 45. So, I prefer to use continuous division. So, in continuous division, iisip lang kayo ng prime numbers na pwedeng mag-divide exactly doon sa dalawang number. So, 35 and 45, so since sila ay multiples of 5, eh, pwede natin siyang i-divide sa 5. 35 divided by 5 is 7, and 45 divided by 5 is 9. Then ngayon, ang 7 at 9 pa, may number pa ba na pwede mag-divide sa kanilang dalawa? Wala na. So, ibig sabihin, stop na tayo dito sa 5. Okay, bilugan natin ang 5. Therefore, ang common factor ng 35 and 45 is 5, and it is also the greatest common factor of 35 and 45. Just remember that to find the common factors and GCF of a given numbers or given numbers, we can use listing method, the factor tree method or the prime factorization method, and the continuous division. And GCF means the greatest common factor and it is the biggest factor among the common factors listed from the given pair of numbers. Thanks for watching this video, hit like if you learned from this video and don't forget to subscribe on my channel. Thank you so much!